Welcome back to Our Scamp Life, the channel where we talk everything scamp, fiberglass campers, really just camping and campers in general. In this video, we're gonna be talking about scamp water heaters. So this is your scamp water heater. I'm pretty sure they're still using this exact same water heater. I know they've, they've used this water heater for a number of years. This is a six gallon water heater, which basically means it's gonna hold six gallons of water approximately in the tank. I believe that this is an Atwood water heater, six gallon, and according to the tag, looks like G6A7 model. And it's a good water heater. It works well, it heats up water quite well. If you can see in here, this little gauge right here kind of indicates if you want it really hot or if you want your water heater much colder. We usually keep it pretty center and that gives us plenty of hot water. So this is the setup on, on the outside. This little door here comes up here and you know this kind of pulls out, covers everything. While I've got this closed, one quick little thing that I do want to point out. <laughs> if you are going to use our do-it-yourself awning that we that we made make sure that you light your water heater after you already have the awning up unless you're doing it with two people but the tarp basically lays across here and the last time we went camping i lit the water heater first and i ended up melting a little bit of our tarp to the outside so just a couple of things when you're going to be going to light this water heater the first thing that you have to remember is that when you've turned your gas tanks on, we have a video out there of that too to show you how all that works, but once you've turned your gas tanks on, it takes a while for the gas to get back to this water heater. Now, I don't know if that's standard on all campers if it takes a long time, or if there's just something with scamp. If you want to, this is maybe a little trick that we figured out, and that is turn on the gas on your gas stove and just light your gas stove. It does help the gas to make it back here a lot quicker. So you got a couple minutes until it gets back to this point. Another thing when it comes to lighting your water heater is you're gonna want one of these. One of these nice long lighters that have the little trigger on them to get it going. It's a bit of a windy day, so I don't know if you can see the flame or not there. You're gonna want one of these because where you're gonna light is actually inside of this big tube here. You're gonna light the pilot. You're gonna keep the pilot going for a little while to warm up the upper pipe, and then you can turn on the water heater and you'll get that jet engine sound. Now it's quite windy today, so hopefully it picks up all this okay. But right now, this is in the off position. You know that because there's a little red triangle like arrow here that kind of lets you know where things are going i've had my gas already turned on at the tanks for a few minutes basically you're going to turn it to this on position and you're going to hear a little hissing sound possibly and then you should be able to smell some gas coming through the line then you're going to turn it to this pilot position and kind of hold it because it's a little spring loaded i don't know if it has to be on pilot but that's just kind of where i hold it and i'm going to hold it on the pilot and i'm going to go in here with my lighter and i'm going to light the bottom lower tube so i'm, I'm going to hold it on this in this pilot position i usually count about 20 seconds and then I slowly turn it back to on. And you just hear it turn on. Sounds like a little jet engine in there. And you know that your water heater is heating up. There you can see it's picking up the flame. That's coming out of the big tube. The little tube that I was talking about earlier is that bottom tube that's kind of curved upwards. That's what's gonna heat everything up. But the water heater right now is going full bore. But you do not need any sort of electricity to get this going. You only are using gas and a lighter. So once you have it heated up, you can go ahead and close this. Kind of protects it from the wind a little bit. Now this gets hot really fast. Like I said earlier, I melted my tarp when it fell against here. But at night, if you're wondering, because eventually that big jet like uh, sound is going to go away and you're going to wonder well man alive do we have the water heater working or not you can see a blue flame right through this little hole here and when you're all done with your water heater you just turn this slowly back to off you hear that little popping sound 
and there should not be any gas coming down the line, but you do wanna make sure before you travel to turn off your LP tanks all the way. Something else that we learned about this particular water heater, at least I think this is the way it is, is that the water heater has to be full, or at least most of the way full, before it will actually light the pilot. I think that's a little safety thing so that you're not overheating the water and burning up your water heater. But we did learn that we, when we got to camp after we had dewinterized, I knew there was a little bit of water in the water heater, but we had not pumped water from our internal tank into the water heater to fill it up. So I had some trouble at that point getting everything lit. But once I realized the tank just had to be full and I had to give it a couple minutes for the gas to get back to the lines, then everything worked great. So hopefully you found this Let's Talk video informative. If you have any other questions or you'd like to know more about the Scam Campers, go ahead and add a comment in the comment section below. If you're liking what you see, hit that subscribe button. Just lets us know what we're doing is working and we're making content that you all want to see. So until next time, God bless.